Welcome Taurus to your April 2017 forecast. If you want a private reading with me, use the link below www.hypnoule.com. If you'd like your whole year reading, use the link below Vimeo on demand for 99. So for you Taurus, this month you are dealing with your insecurities, the things you do behind the scenes, the secrets that you cover up, the secrets that you do. Uh, and this is going to be a month where, you know, through times of April, you might be feeling uh, like you are isolated, that you're not getting the support that you need, that you might be feeling insecure, vulnerable, um, second guessing uh, your life, your decisions, the people in your life. Now at work you do have the three of swords. Now this is competition, this is uh, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, where you are in competition with them uh, and there could be three against one, uh, there could be just three of you going for this uh, lead role, this, this you know, whatever it is that you're doing, there's competition there. This is also shock exits, shock firings, a shake up at work. This is also warning signs, uh, accounts being frozen. This is a, a warning um, that something in April is going to be brought to your attention, that things need to be looked at a lot more closely. Now there's... Um, empty solutions to money issues. So you might feel like you want to stem the flow to something and reassess things later. Now Mercury retrograde starts shadow period 27th of March right through till May the 15th. So that's people, places, situations, deja vu moments back on the table. So this could be something you've experienced before and this time during April you're looking at it and going hang on a second I remember this from before. I think we need to stop. I think we need to halt. I think we need to look. I think we need to urgently get uh, an expert in to have a look at this criteria. At home you do have the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups is saying that there is uh, options, there's multitasking, there's a lot of things uh, going on at the moment. Um, for some of you this is about um, looking at your finances and looking at the people that you live with and seeing who is holding their own, who is not being responsible, who is uh, trying to get out of their part of the home. Now the cups are Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus and this is about looking at your options. Now you may have one person who is um, behind your back causing uh, issues, conflict, um, Under, undermining uh, your authority, underhanded um, actions, and this is creating, um, and through that, because I feel like through that, you're going to find that you have a lot more options. So maybe you have a family member or a person that you've been, uh, you know, that, yeah, they've gone through times of ups and down, but you rely on them for a certain reason. And um, through the month of April, you'll find, you know, through this action, um, whether it be throwing them out or, you know, having a full on conversation with this person, that um, it actually will work out in the end because you'll find that you have more options. For some of you, this is about looking at buying a house, looking at getting engaged or moving in with a partner. And uh, as you have that conversation, you'll find that there's a lot more options than you first thought. Now, also, this is about multitasking. This is about um, making sure that everybody at home is uh, doing their bit, that no one's draining things at home. There could be blind faith, um, you know, uh, delusional uh, thinking because it's just so much on so much going on emotionally uh, emotionally you're feeling drained emotionally you're feeling cut emotionally you feel like you're multitasking there's just so much going on and um, then things will get easier sometimes you can feel uh, I feel like for some of you you could be feeling like you're uh, in, in a house full of people uh, but you feel very isolated you feel like you're doing everything you feel like no one's emotionally listening to you or supporting you or giving you that uh, that time that you need now the ace of Pentacles is um, an offer. Uh, it is divine intervention to lead you on to the results that you want. It is um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. And the house that it rules is the head, face, upper lip, upper jaw, and cerebrum. So you might find that you have the money or that you inherit money or that someone loans you the money or that um, through the options, you know, if you're 
uh, getting some sort of loan, you've got extra to be able to put into this. It could be that there has been a long-term issue going on with this or that this is returned through Mercury Retrograde and that now you've got the money, now you've got the tangible practical solutions to put into place to fix those areas of your um, of your body. Now this is also divine intervention, so it, this could be something that's been nagging for a while, but through the month of April you have the finances, you have the support, and you have the appointment and the opportunity to get it seen too. In your love you do have the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands, Taurus, is dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, and this person you ha are having a balance of struggles with. This person can sometimes be over uh, handed in their um, wanting to look after you, um, uh, their bullying, could be some sort of manipulation. Um, this is someone who uh, likes to be the boss, my way or the highway. So there could be some tensions during the month of April, Taurus, where you're going to have to, you know, keep redefining the fact that, you know, you're equals in this. Now, those of you that are single, this could be someone that's coming back, a fire sign. Uh, this could be the third time that they've come back for some of you. Now, there's also a chameleon in between both of you. So this could be a family member, this could be a child, this can be a friend who is, um, this person, I don't want to say that they can't be trusted. What I want to say is just keep your eyes and your ears open because this person's interchangeable. This person changes their mood when they walk into the room. And this person can be um, sharing um, information with your other half or uh, family members. Uh, but leaving a word out or, you know, the way that they explain it is different from what you said. So just keep an eye out for that. Drawing virtue messages from the angels cards. Two cards for you. No, they want three. So this is about someone wanting to move in. And or this um, emergency thing that happens at work, uh, this, this acute thing that happens at work, the answer to that is no, this is not the right time. So you might think, okay, maybe you know, if we threw more money at it, maybe if we uh, gave it another six weeks, maybe if we um, got a whole new position just to look after that end of the scale, um, the answer to that is no, this is not the right time. Now also for at home, um, this is about, you know, do I carry on doing this? No. Uh, the, the overwhelming um, uh actions at home where there's you're doing more than other people and through whatever actions happen in April you will find that even if it's uncomfortable even if it's stressful even if it's difficult and, and, and you know causes stress or anxiety that through that you will get the desired outcome that you want so no is the answer to you know shall I let them stay shall I let this continue uh, I've been together saying that there is going to be an awful lot of communication uh, to make sure that you're listening as well as hearing uh, this is about faxes this is communication Archangel Gabriel is saying that there's going to be a lot of stop starts uh, this is going with Mercury retrograde as well where um, thing you've got to get everything written down there's going to be stops starts miscommunications um, challenges, delays, uh, people changing their mind altogether. So this is where you are, A, going to be playing the mediator, and B, uh, I just hear, oh, I'm not, oh, I'm Switzerland, I'm not getting involved. It's almost like um, somebody wants you to pick sides, um, or that you've talked this to death. Uh, Yvonne is saying that you might have to outlay some money for some pets this month, or that your pet is ailing, or that this is something that's happened before and they're going through the same phase again. For others, this is about compassion. There is only the way, uh, compassion is the only the way to get through this this month. So be kind to you and those you love, and I shall see you next month.